Turning now to your community focus, we are talking with the candidates for lieutenant governor in Rhode Island and joining us now in studio, state senator for East Providence and Pawtucket, Cynthia Mendes. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So 60 seconds or less, Senator, why do you want to be Rhode Island's next lieutenant governor? As a state senator in Rhode Island, I witnessed firsthand um, the neglect and um, of our leaders in the state. I witnessed um, their disinterest in really addressing some of the really critical crises that Rhode Islanders are facing. Um, as a single mom and a former healthcare worker, I know what it's like to have another mom sit across me um, and turn down a treatment plan that she desperately needed because she couldn't afford it. I know what it's like to take my child to a soccer game and watch the coffee can circle the field as someone starts a GoFundMe to raise money for another child that needed cancer treatment. And so going into the state house and watching them not address these really, really critical issues, I knew that we need to address this um, on, a, on a bigger level, and that's why I'm running for lieutenant governor, that's why I'm running alongside Matt Brown, who is running for governor, and that's why I don't believe we should be doing this alone, we should be doing this with a collective change, and that's why we're running alongside um, candidates for the Rhode Island State Legislature with the Rhode Island Co Political Cooperative, which are nurses and teachers and activists and just lovely, amazing Rhode Islanders that deeply care about their community and that's how we're going to get change and that's why I'm running. You mentioned that you're running alongside uh, former Secretary of State Matt Brown. We had him in studio not that long ago. Yep. He's seeking the governor's seat. But in Rhode Island, it's not actually a joint ticket. So there's a possibility that maybe you'll win and he won't. So do you pledge to work cooperatively with whoever the next governor is if you are elected? I'm running with Matt because he be we believe in the same things and we believe that the change that we need and we need to start addressing for working class people. We need to stop giving big tax giveaways to corporations and the wealthiest. We need to pay attention to um, creating equal quality education for our, for our children and our students, uh, affordable health care for everyone, um, and a living wage for everyone. And Matt is the only candidate in the race that is going to do that. And so Rhode Island needs both of us to win, and I'm terrified for how the crisis is may continue to amplify um, with anyone else in the race. And so what I would do, no matter what, is keep fighting for the things that I've always been fighting for in the Senate and when I was in the community, fighting for working class people, fighting for our, our environment, for education, and for health care that's affordable. I've done that before I was in politics. I'll do it in the Senate, and I'll do it in office with Matt Brown. So you will be challenging, of course, incumbent Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos. Why do you feel that she's wrong for the job? Yeah, Rhode Islanders are done with politics as usual. They're done with the political machine and, and people that have continued to prop up um, the political establishment that is not working for working class people in Rhode Island. Um, they're done with politics as usual and giving, again, big tax giveaways to the wealthiest, to developers and corporate lobbyists and, um, and special interests and not actually addressing the housing crisis, the, the health care crisis, um, our essential workers um, in the living wage that we need to address right now. And so um, I am thrilled to be addressing those, um, again, running with Matt Brown as governor and with other local candidates. Um, Lenny Seo, who is running for state senate against uh, Senator Ruggiero, he's an amazing nurse. Um, so I don't believe that we should be doing politics as just a single person an egotistical, individualistic model. I think we need to get away from that, and that's why I'm so excited to say that I'm not running alone. I'm running with amazing people who are committed to the same sort of change that I believe we should have. Yeah, you're, you're mentioning the Rhode Island Political Cooperative, of course, and um, I know some of your priorities, we talked about these with Matt, mm -hmm. $19 minimum wage and uh, rent increases being capped at, at 4%. Um, just this week, actually, Senate President Dominic Ruggiero spoke to a local chamber of commerce, and he told the crowd that this group, the Rhode Island Political Cooperative, of which you're a part, is, quote, downright hostile to business and has, quote, radical ideas. 
I assume you disagree with the characterization that you're hostile and radical, but I'll let you speak for yourself. Yeah, um, I'm actually glad that Senate President Ruggiero admitted where his allegiance is. His allegiance has been, and it's um, has consistently been, with large corporations and how he can benefit them. Um, and Rhode Islanders know that, and they've seen that. Um, I've pushed back on that in the Senate. I will continue to push back on that when we when we're in office. But I'm hoping that I won't have to because I. Uh, President Ruggiero, President Senate Ruggiero has a challenger, Lenny Seo, as I mentioned, who's running for Senate in North Providence. And if he's a nurse and um, a compassionate person who will fight for affordable health care. And so um, I'm really, you know, although I'm relieved, I'm not shocked that uh, Senate President Ruggiero admits that his allegiance and his priority is his buddies that are big corp that run big corporations and we need people that are going to show up in our communities not in boardrooms working out deals for their wealthy friends. That is all the time that we have for today. State Senator and Lieutenant Governor candidate Cynthia Mendes, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And Mendes joins a crowded field of candidates that includes incumbent uh, Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos, Jean Lugo, Paul Pence, and Deb Ruggiero. And looking ahead to tomorrow when we'll be joined live in studio by Lisa Wranglin, the head of the Rhode Island Black Business Association. That's coming up tomorrow in your Community Focus.